Hello there, a great person, and welcome to my reaction to apparently the back rooms, which is a thing. So I got a recommendation from one of my watches called uh, Wide Wing Devil. So shouts to you. He told me about this. I don't know what this is. Apparently there's a room and you can glitch out of reality and people made stories about it. So I am going to react to videos created by a channel called um it is called cane pixels and i have not really done any digging into this so i hope this is the right thing i'm reacting to so they've got this playlist of bag rooms things it's about an hour we'll watch it all it's supposed to be scary which is yes i want scary like if you know anything scary let me know i will react to it definitely perhaps not tomorrow perhaps not next week but this month that's a promise so um, yeah, I'm looking for scary stuff and also creative horror writing stuff, like stories that are very, very well written. And uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm going to watch all of this playlist videos, have some fun. Um, if you like the videos you I'm reacting to, of course, go to their channel and uh, like their original videos, watch them, subscribe. But also, if you like my reaction, uh, consider liking, subscribing to this channel as well helps grow. We are almost at 2,300 subs, which is absolutely mind-blowing, but we will now go into the back rooms. And apparently they are yellow or brownish. I'm colorblind, I don't know, but we will go there now. Let's have some fun and hopefully be scared. I, I really hope I will get scared today. I really need a good scary video. So, there will be um, 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 timestamps, so if there's a certain part you want to see, like a certain video, just jump there as well and don't forget to don't uh, forget uh, to like the videos and uh, yeah let's just go so there we are this one is called backrooms overflow and it's not even two minutes so it might be a prelude i hope it's cool let's go let's go let's have some fun and uh, you tell me what this uh, is about in the end, of course, if you want. If I don't get stuff, I don't know how artsy this is going to be, how much information I will get. But I'm just going to give you my thoughts after everyone. I have some fun. Let's just go. Let's just go. I'm talking too much. Market and non-market economies. Well, as I've said, Starry sky. Negotiations in this area with the Soviets are just beginning. Oh, Our Secretary Peterson Cold War. returned yesterday for two weeks. In the Moscow, but also in Warsaw, during which time very considerable progress was made. We're narrowing our differences, which, is kept, which have kept us from settling our lend lease debt for 25 years. And the good faith which the Soviets would demonstrate by set, settling the debt would set the stage for a presidential order uh, permitting ex in bank credits to, to, for sales to the Soviets. Uh, it would also open the way for a presidential request. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. No, I'm tripping. Okay. Okay, that was very loud. I will turn it down a bit um, for the next one. But yeah, apparently, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, let's actually see if there is still something. So we've got some free speech glitches. What was that? Okay. Okay, so what I got from that one, and I might of course be completely wrong. I might not know what I'm talking about. I probably am not. So it was at least that part played in Soviet Russia or in the time of the Soviet Union, at least. So before 1989, 91 ish. And they might have, they seem to have negotiations. So I guess it's like end of the 1980s. Perhaps. I don't know if this all will be set there, um, but uh, yeah, it, it sounds as if there was 
why it was the person holding an, uh, a tape to, to their eyes and about free speech, what? It was distorting, then there was some Ivan, Ivan, who was, um, had, like, he signed some weird document, I didn't really get to see what it was, but weird, 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 let's, let's go. I love the sound effects. These sound contortions are always scary. Ugh. What happened there? Are you evil? Ah. Sciencey stuff. 1982. Okay. I was not that far off, actually. That's cool. What are you doing? Space time bending? Are those lasers? Gonna shoot lasers in the crystal to amplify them? It's not how that works. Most of the time, at least. It looks a little bit like a space station as well. Why is there a spinny thing? Oh, yeah, that has magnets and now it's inducing a uh, current. Okay, I see. What do you need the current for, though? Oh! Okay, why are you inducing a temporal dimensional shift thing? Um, did you succeed? Is the crystal thing gone? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh, that was it. Okay, these are so these are probably some some introductory videos. I, I yeah, let's let's go, let's go. So we've got a third test in this one, but before we had, so from what I saw is like they were these um, things that pointed into the middle. I don't know what was in the middle. It looked like a crystal. Um, so there was lightning coming from there. Um, so I don't know what technology they might have used. Like, the, the thing turning was obviously like it had magnets on its end, so it was like inducing uh, current and uh, voltage. So that's what it did, and that's why we got uh, induction of some kind of electricity, and then the, 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 the lightning came. Probably was very pointy what they made there, so the lightning always goes out at the, at the tip of stuff, like at, at edges. So... Um, probably what they did but why did they do that and i couldn't really make it out was the crystal gone let's see what the third test is Ooh, good old oh on july 2nd 1988 the asin research facility tested its low proximity magnetic distortion oh wow okay they are pretty good on the science then. <laughs> they did that good. They are well, well researched. During a press conference held in April of 1988, I am the vice director of the ASIN Foundation, described the intention of these tests, stating this program is granted sufficient backing from the United States government will offer a solution to all current and future storage and residential needs and save billions of dollars. Yeah, the, the voice is getting on my nerves a bit, but it's cool. Oh, that seems to be a chamber to hell. Don't jump scare me, please. Ah, uh, we've got... Oh, I see what they're doing. That's cool. I see. Yeah, I see. That's cool. That's a cool thing. That is very well done. I like it. It's, uh... That's cool. That's really cool. That was awesome, you know why. So they use basically... I'm sorry if I over-explain stuff. <laughs> 
I'm I'm a quantum physicist, so just for my background, if you don't know this channel, so I know some physics stuff, like probably a lot of physics stuff. So what they did here was like they basically used this idea that electromagnetic currents can change space time and distort dimensions. Um, and dimensions are meant in a scientific way, not in parallel worlds way, but who knows what it might mean? Like, it might uh, lead to, like, space-time distortions, gateways, or whatever, yeah. And in those times, I mean, they had that, those theories. Like, there was this guy called uh, Burkhard Heim. He had some, some stuff to say about electromagnetism distorting space-time. And obviously, they did that here. And um, they wanted funding. And um, apparently in the end, they created this doorway thing, which, yeah, never play with stuff like that. I, I have to commend them, though. That is very well researched. Like, I really like, like the, <laughs> the fact that I could deduce that it was like magnets and electromagnetism from just the thing turning and like very brilliant stuff. Or perhaps it was obvious, I don't know. If, if it was obvious, tell me in the comments anyway. Let's go. So first contact. So it might be worse now. Oh. Brilliant. FBI warning. Uh, good old fo footage from the times where they still had handheld cameras. I wonder where they picked it up. They're probably expensive. Okay, let, let's see. Triple support beam on internal chamber 23A. Sorry, I, I need I, I need to read this. Introduce prostate cavities. Introduce hmm, into the hmm. Yeah, there's probably some material or whatever. Replace detectors. High precision beam now monitors for vibration exceeding uh, 90,000 mega volts per G. What is, or is that a Coulomb? What is G? Am I tripping? I've never seen that. Might be the, I mean, G is the gravity, like the, the, some people use it as the gravity constant, so. I don't know, whatever, let's go. Oh, they're still using that doorway. Um, mates, you probably will, like, summon Cthulhu or something. Oh, this is so eerie. I love it. I love stuff like this so much. This is the camera work I'm most scared by, by the way. This realistics. Oh, God. Oh god, I thought something came. Nothing came. It's still fine. Oh god, I know I'm gonna get jump scared by some asshole. Was it the smoke? Was that the entity? Oh god. Nope, there's nothing there. No, 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 don't jump me. Oh, we've got the corridors. Okay, okay, good. It was just the corridors. Oh god, please don't jump scare me. Please don't jump scare me. I hate jump scares. They're cheap. Okay. Thank god. That was bad. You know, so if you really want to get me with horror, you just need to take like cameras like this, like, like something like this really creeps me out because it's so realistic. I would love to have a like, I think Primer was shot in camera quality like this. And, and uh, that was also scary, even though there was nothing that scary in it. It was just like logical fuckery, but Jesus, I hate that. Like like the original um, M. Juwan movie. I've not seen it, but I've seen the stairs scene in that movie that creeped me the frick out. Like I couldn't sleep for weeks. Haven't, yeah, I haven't watched that movie in a long time, but this is nice setup. This is creepy fuckery. And it's so realistically set up. I hate it. Me being like knowledgeable at physics and stuff makes me think this might be real. 
that's the bad part. Like, it's obviously not, but well done. So now we've got a long one. Found footage. Will we get jump scared by um, an ass hat? Let's, let's see. Sound? Oh, God. Camera. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, it was just a ding dong in a mask. Okay. We're getting there. I'm just anxious now. Rolling. All right. And action. Okay, it was just for the stupid movie with a stupid ape mask. All right, cut. Cut. That was good. That was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle and then we're done. Okay? All right. Yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further? Like, uh, a little more. A little more. Um, <laughs> oh no, you fell into the weird room world. <laughs> and the camera announced it. Oh, okay, okay. Hello? Hello? Oh god. Reminds me hey of. Guys. Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. No, no, this is bad. What is this? Yeah. Oh god. Sorry to pause this. I, I know it's probably annoying, but I, I hate this shot. There's so many places a creepy crawler can come from. Like, there could. Like, this is. Okay. If you've not been on this channel for long, or if you've not seen my horror reaction stuff from way back when I started, like, this is the angle. This is the angle. Some ass, ass freak could come from here. And, and like if you're standing right here looking or here, look, some ass face could come from here. I would hate it. I hate it. I hate this. So this is the angle. I call this the angle. Like the angle where you like you can't see behind and some, some ass face could come from there. And I, I can guarantee you an ass face will come from there down the line and I will hate it. But this is beautifully shot. Like where did they shoot this? This is eerie. Oh god, yeah, yeah, the angle, oh god, this is my worst nightmare. Okay, this wasn't even the angle, it's, oh god. Hello? Oh god. <laughs> is someone there? Okay, so this is what we're doing now. There was an ass face in the background. Why is it following him? Perhaps it just wants cookies? I don't know. Oh god, don't go, don't go, oh god, no, 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 don't jump scare me, please, don't jump scare. God, I hate this, this is, oh god, it's gonna come from behind the corner, oh, it didn't. Whew. I don't know why this, no, don't go there, why would you go there, mate, why are you not freaking out? Oh god, it's the angle, but it's the angle is up there. Uh. Oh man, this is so bad. I love it. It's just silence, just freaking. Oh god, I hate corridors so much. Uh, why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, Can no. anybody hear me? No, don't, don't, don't shout! It's gonna hear Hello. you, mate. You saw it. It's gonna hear you. Damn it! That's the reaction. Damn it! There's the weird thing. It, I think it's behind that that angle. Oh, the angle again. The angle again here. There's the angle. There's the angle. And here. And here. And here. Ah, oh, it's my nightmare. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, but it's horrifying. Oh God, where? Oh, ah, oh, God, the angle is everywhere. This should have been called the angle. Oh god, no, don't go around the corner. Mate, what are you doing? Why would you look up? It's not gonna go come from upstairs. It's oh god, left to your left. I mean it's a sign of life. Might be a sign of an ass face that's gonna gobble you up when you go there. Oh god, the angle! Oh god, it's there what everywhere. The oh god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is making me really anxious. Like, they, this again, like, some ass face could come from there. Some weird stalker, creepy crawler. It's gonna be a creepy crawler, I can smell it. Or it might be an unreal ghost thing. 
Okay, there's just a face. That's not that bad. Oh my god, that was horrifying. I mean, it's just a mad... It's just a mad elephant. Oh god, it's just a scribble. It's just a scribble, but it's horrifying. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so it's so bad. Uh, is it still behind you? Oh my god, w where did they film this? This is brilliant. <sighs> oh god, it's trick. It's gonna get him, it's gonna get him. Yes, jumped on the fucking hole, mate. This doesn't matter. It can't be. It can't be worse than... Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This is... I love it. Good thing that it's, that it's afraid of holes. Okay, he's somewhere different. Oh, God. I don't know why that was so scary. I think it was very primal what they did. Like, the voices were like a predator thing or whatever. And it was just a scribble. That was the scariest scribble I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so it's the angle again. Like, it could grudge us. Like, it could grudge us from there. Like, the, the, the grudge, like, like the, there's the scene in the grudge too where the grudge looks like here, from here. Hate the grudge. Worst monster I've ever seen. Like, not worst and badly designed, like worst and most scariest for me. I, I, I admit, it's the scariest one, I'm sorry. So, okay, so... Oh God, it's only halfway done, Jesus. Fuck me. <laughs> I know who you are who recommended this. I will come and hunt you down. Oh God, this is, I love it. This is what I want from horror. Oh, this is so good. Oh, why? Why? Oh, no. Why would you- why would you do that? Are you an idiot? Why would you make it dark? Clearly, we'll see you. You're like saying in Morse code, kill me. Uh, at least it's just a gallery. Like, that's not that scary. Okay, so we've got a bizarre world outside. Holy shit. It's very well done. It's very, very well done. Oh, there are little things in the distance. Ah, it's a bin. Is there gonna be a, a thing coming from that bin? That garbage bin? I once wrote a horror story about a like, creepy girl. They found, like, mangled and it would, she was stuffed in the garbage bin and then her weird ghost thing came out of that. So it reminds me of that. I hope there's gonna be some weird shit coming from that thing. And if there's nothing coming from there, shut up still. Brilliant. Uh, this is giving me anxiety. Oh, thank fuck, it was nothing. Left is the, that's the angle. Oh, what is that? It's so well done. Like, how did they do that? Oh, it's coming. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. The trumpets. I hear it's trumpets. What are you gonna do? Oh, that's so weird. I love it. Yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah, what the fuck, mate? This isn't real. Where's the elephant? This the the scribble man elephant is gonna come get you. Okay, I think that is computer generated, perhaps? How do they do this? This is so good. Imagine there's a game like this. Like in Unreal Engine 5 where it's like this realistic. It's gonna burst through the fucking door, mate. Why would you go there? Oh god, it's a door. Oh god, it's gonna peek. It's gonna peek from somewhere. It's just very, very scary places. It's like, like he 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 analyzed what what horrifying places look like. Like what makes places horrifying. Like these corners and stuff. You just put it into a into a weird, bizarre dimension thing. And now he's giving me anxiety. Oh god, it's gonna come from the right. We were here again. Oh, we were here already. So it's not that bad. So I guess the trumpet asshole is gonna come. And it's gonna jump scare me. Like it's just a, uh, uh, like it's just an elf, like a scribble trumpeting like an elephant. It's not that scary, but the way it sounds, like it 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 addresses primal fears. I mean, don't, don't go and brought that con like ding dong. 
No, that's why are you going there slowly? Oh god, it's gonna jump me. Oh god, that fuck. Oh god, this is good. Ah, oh, this is the stuff. This is the stuff, mates. This is the stuff. Ah, oh, give me more like this. I hear the trumpeting asshole. It's coming. Oh god. Oh god, where is it? Don't go in there. Oh god. Okay, there it is. Okay. It's just an asshole. Oh god, it's just an asshole. It's gonna jump scare us though. Oh no, now there's a corridor. Like, this is like the, the Amnesia Water Monster chase, but worse. Can you jump down there? Oh, that's such a weird perspective. It's gonna jump me. <laughs> I love it. Oh, now he dies. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck me. So he got gobbled up by the weird glitch. Fine. I hope someone finds the camera. Yeah, so it, my internet bugged out for a moment. Whatever. That was apparently it. Jesus fuck, what was that? That was... I think that was the scariest um, horror video I've ever seen on YouTube. Definitely. Like, by far. Like, I've seen many. Like, I... Back in my day when I started this channel, I um, reacted to a lot of scary videos that were... Though they were not short videos. But, like, I've I've seen my fair share of short videos, like, Lights Out and stuff like that. This, like, the way this is shot, it's purely genius because it is just using basic psychology. Like, really just basic psychology. Like, it uses the angle thing. It uses the unknown thing. It uses the, like... The noises that are like a predator, like that's basically what the noises are, they're like a predator. They like directly go into your brain. The guy doesn't know how much you know about like psychology and neurology, so... But it's basically like, um, there are certain patterns, input patterns into your like cognitive structure, and they will immediately give reactions and you can't control it. This was one of them. This was one of them, like, like this... The way the entity stomped. That was just a pattern that makes you anxious. These these uh, these angles that I was talking about, they make you anxious, like... And and it was the best length. Um, like, it was not boring in any way. It was very well structured, like, the way, the way it was shot, the way it was, like, created, like, all the things around it were created, like, the, the, the buildings and stuff. Brilliant stuff and gave me anxiety attacks. And, like, this was brilliant. Like, I'm not scared of it now. So it's so weird. Like, it's a switch that goes on in your head when you watch it. Because the psychology used is, like, um, uh, circumventing... I don't know if that's the right word. Circumventing your cognition. Like, it directly goes into your primal circuitry in your brain. And I've never seen that done in the video this effectively. Like, if you've got a horror video, you have maybe one of these angles or two. Like, I once had a video where they had, like, two angles up, like, like this, you know, and someone, something could, could come from here, and something could come from here, I don't know if that makes sense, but, so, but this thing just took the, the, the basic cognitive structures that you, like, if you, uh, sorry, the, the sensory structures that when you detect them, you are afraid, or you have this flight reflex. I don't know if that was for everyone the same, like, for me, it was exactly what happened with me. And I think that's brilliant. That's exactly how you should do it. No context. He just randomly popped into this weird, bizarre world. Was like followed, hunted down by this weird entity. That's it. No explanation. Just weirdness. Um, I love it. Just love it. So let's see what else is here. And the monster wasn't scary. Like, it, sorry, it didn't look scary at all. It was just a stick figure. It was just too weird. Of, that made trumpeting noises, but it was brilliantly done. And it didn't need to. It didn't need to be scary. Like, it didn't need to look scary. It just looked weird. And with all the things going on, that was what made it worse. Oh, data not accessible. Did you find the camera and understood that whoever recorded it was dead? 
like dead as a doornail, as Charles Dickens would say. Reformatting. Loading archive dot tar. Oh god. Still sweating. Oh no. Please don't jump me. If you're just running at me from the distance, it's not as bad as you jumping me, you stupid stick man. Okay, that's a circuit board. Don't know why though. Perhaps it's similar to the outline. That's not, not, now, come on, that's just a cellar where someone, like, for some reason, put a pipe in into it like that. Hello, friend. You're probably just recording the news. You're not reporting on seeing a stick figure of death. Yeah, it's probably them building this thing. March 19, 90, okay, it's 90, March 90. So we're a bit in the future now, like we already opened the portal to Bizarro asshole angle world. Also rooms are like this thing that makes you feel enclosed as well, like never seeing the light again, that fear as well. It basically plays to almost all of the basic fears you have, it's just it. Like, they just created something that appear, appeals to all the basic fears. It's brilliant. What are you doing, mate? Are you observing the weird back rooms or whatever it's called? What is that? The null zone for? Why is it a null zone? What does that mean? What does it mean? Um, okay. We've got a new doorway. I hope the trumpeting doesn't start now. I hate the trumpets. Um. Okay. Okay, so that, um... That was basically just background information about the scientists. But we were in 1990 already, so... So yeah, this ding-dong got gobbled up by the weird glitch thing. Perhaps he is now the glitch thing. Perhaps, perhaps he was the glitch thing all along and we are having a time travel experience. I'm sorry, I'm just talking rubbish because I'm still shaking. Okay, people appear, appear to be glitching away there. In that area. Alice White. Janice Scott. So do I get that correctly? They, um... Yeah, missing person cases goes up because everyone just glitches out of the world. I mean, I hope that worries people. That's high. It's very well done CGI as well. Oh. Okay, so... Oh, we, we're still there, okay. So... I forgot what I wanted to say, I'm just... I'm, my brain... my brain's mush. Oh, at least they brought suits. Like, how is it gonna protect you from a glitch in the reality? So it's basically... sorry. I just have to pause because I'm too... <sighs> anyway, so I think what's going on here is that perhaps we live in a simulation and through these experiments they've like cracked it open a bit and made a place that's not here to the simulation and you can glitch out into this like bag up room, like it's, it's like this development room, you know? And in games they have these development spaces where they can do everything and this looks a bit like that. Anyway, so... Oh god, we're back. Is the trumpeting asshole gonna come back, though? I like this set so much. How did they create it? 
So they are looking for him, I guess. Are they just like retracing his steps, perhaps? This is not that scary because um, I don't know why there's no claustrophobia here. It's just like they are like a regular team doing the regular job. I think that eases me a lot. They wear hazmat suits. They are professionals. Nothing bad can happen to them. You know, that's what I get from this. Oh, Jesus freaking Christ, what happened to you, mate? He just got burned away. I mean, at least he had a quick death. This makes no sense. This makes no sense? Why? No, this is, this is definitely new. I mean, that is clearly the guy we saw in the fan footage video, I think. So, yeah, so he either got, like, ripped apart, which is, like... That's quick. I mean, it's not that horrifying. It's like terrible, but it's not horrifying. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. yeah. So I'm glad he had a quick death. Or perhaps time and space got distorted around him and he felt that ripping apart for millennia through this like weird glitchy thing. I don't know. Or perhaps that's just like fungus, but I think it's blood, so. It's organic. It's of course it's organic. It's dude. And dude ripped to fox. Okay. So now we've got the autopsy of this asshole. I hope I'm so glad that subject is male. Uh, um, somewhere between eighteen and twenty one years old. I estimate that the time of death was around five days ago, but due to the severe tissue damage, it's it's hard to say for sure. Okay, so it might have distorted space time around him and made him rot alive or something. So yeah, great, great, great stuff. Why are there these weird noises? Was likely malnutrition. I was able to recover most of the digestive tract. So. Things start to deviate from what we would consider to be natural. Okay, so the decomposition process appears to have been stunted, but I thought it was quicker. I thought it, uh, yeah, perhaps, I don't know, whatever. The decomposition process appears to have been stunted somehow. It, it's like, it's like portions of the body stopped decaying and, and were sustained. Why? Other areas, however, were completely overtaken by culture. So, uh, I took... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, this might be because I'm not a native speaker, but it doesn't it does mean taken over by culture, like they mean a like, um, fungus culture, like, right? <laughs> sorry. Uh, samples of some of the material here. <clears throat> But why would it be biological? I thought the glitch was weird. Non-biological stuff. An aggregated collection of pseudomenus fluorescence, but uh, it seems to be closer to a mutated strain of simple hay bacillus. Which... It should be completely benign, but... Well, really, I, I, I don't know what to make of this. So some bacteria in his body grew rampant? Uh, where this subject came from? No, or you die. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Okay. Hello, TV. Oh, that was a nice, uh, kind looking woman. A nuke, a, a galaxy, planetary rings, a cell, more cells, amoeba. And the weird gateway again. Fine. Oh, God. Thank God. So, so it seems to be very, like, a lot of scientific information has been flashing on that screen. I don't know why. I don't know why.
but so he was decomp like what does it mean like the bacteria just mutated or, or like were rampantly growing so was time distorted i don't know why i'm i'm clinging to this time distortion stuff first because i think it's cool it would be cool but i, I don't know Welcome to the Project KV-31 Research and Development Team. Thank you. In this short, informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV-31, as well as receive an overview of future development plans. And that is very kind of you. What is Project KV-31? Yes, what is Project KV-31? Project KV-31 pertains to the study and development of the Async Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. Yeah. Threshold. Yeah, yeah, it's a dimensional. For the sake of convenience, you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following titles: the machine, the door, the back rooms, the complex, hallways. Yep. Unauthorized usage of these terms outside of the async research facility is strictly prohibited. The threshold without guided supervision. So you're not allowed to say the door. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What, what happens? Never enter the complex alone. Okay. All expeditions are to be comprised of no fewer than three individuals. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just have to think about my school time. Every time we were in a school trip and the teacher let us like go through the city we were visiting uh, in groups, it was always, always three. It has to be at least three. Want to have an accident, want to stay there, want to call the police and go for help, like because we didn't have smartphones. So, so yeah, <laughs> reminds me of that. So, do they have like ropes that will um, like help them go back to the, the door? Or is it, uh, I don't know, how do they get out? Okay. That is a very, very good effect. I like it. Aren't you afraid that the trumpet asshole is going to come and kill you? Is it always that place where they enter? Is it always open? I don't think it is, so... <laughs> they look so derpy. Yeah, but that was two weeks ago. I don't think we're doing anything about it now. What is this training me for? I know they're running around there. I can't really make out what, oh God, what they're saying. Are there subtitles? No, there are no subtitles, so that's bad. What are you gonna do when the trumpet guy shows up? Like, this is just gonna rip you to fuck. I know nothing's gonna happen because it's just an educational video. They won't show their like comrades being ripped to shreds, I guess. Um, oh the angle. Yeah. They use the angle yeah, so much. This? Yeah, that's weird noises. Don't go there. Hey guys, can you hear this? Hey! <laughs> Oh god. Why would this happen though in an... Guys. How could this happen? Oh. Okay, now I'm anxious again. Guys. The trumpet man is gonna come. Trump. Oh no, the trumpet man is gonna Open. come. Why would you show this in an introductory video? Open. Like, how did you get the footage back? <sighs> oh god, it's luring him in, like a siren. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Don't you know where you came from? Oh god, is it getting darker behind you? Please don't tell me it's not getting darker behind you. Oh good, it wasn't. Oh great, what's that? Don't go there, of course. I mean, yes, you're a scientist, but as a fellow scientist, I can tell you I wouldn't go there. Trumpet guy is gonna come. He's gonna... He's gonna... Talk to your primal fears. I mean, that doesn't look that bad. I mean, what is that? 
Don't breathe into my ear, you A-bag. Is this rendered? Is this real? I can't tell. It's so good. Oh god, mate, run. Or perhaps not. Like, save your energy. Oh god, there's... Okay, there are angles, but nothing can be there because there's no corridor to the right or left. So it's alright. There are safe angles. Oh man, it's gonna jump us. It's gonna jump us. What is happening? Oh, it's tilting. Oh god, that's so weird. You can jump, mate, jump. Why would you do this? Oh, this looks like the one game I once played on a computer. Why would you go in? Why would you go in? Aren't you claustrophobic? Oh god! Oh, I thought it was like a vent, but it's not. It's a normal room. Can yeah, take that, take that to 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 hit the the trumpet scribble, the trump trumpeting doodle. Why are there old uh, whatever they're called? What are those things called? I want to know. I don't know the word for it in English. That's a lovely house. Is trumpet man living there? If you found trumpet, trumpet doodle says. Yeah, I hear it. Why is this in an advisory video? Or whatever it's called. Oh god, this is making me so anxious. Oh god. Thank god, nothing happened. But now we've got the angles again. Trumpet man could come at every moment. Perhaps there are other monsters here. Like imagine an Onryo being here. But I don't think this setting is scary for an Onryo. I mean your security measures are shit when you... Oh why? Why are you doing that? Okay. Your security measures are shit. Yeah, follow the exit doors. Oh man, something's gonna come now. Run, mate! It's the exit. Perhaps, perhaps it's going. Perhaps it's just fooling you. Perhaps it's getting you deeper into shit world. He should cry more, I think, the actor. But other than that, yeah, mate. What are you doing? Oh, good! You went from one hellish place to another hellish place. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door, mate! Hello? Don't shout now. Yep, you're fucked. You're fucked. Hey! <sighs> Thank God. What was that supposed to teach me? Don't stray from the goop? Only go in with exactly three people and not four, because one might get lost. Why don't you have more safety measures against that happening? Oh, so it seemed to be a security room of some sort? Oh. Okay, that was it. That was that video. I really liked it. I just, like, I was wondering a bit, like, in the narrative, like, why did they show me this suddenly? Like, why was that an introduction video or, like, in a, like, what did that, what was that supposed to teach me? Don't wander off from the group? Perhaps? Perhaps it was just illustrating that point. Then, yeah, I don't know. That guy should have been a bit more afraid when he realized what, what, what happened because he knows where he is. But other than that, very nicely done again. So we are still 1990, good to know, good to know. Gonna go back to the weird world. I wonder where they filmed this, it's brilliantly shot. That place is like screaming horror. Why are you even doing that? What are you doing there? What do you want to find out? 
What's the objective? It's just a weird, bizarro dimension world. I mean, I get curiosity, but... Seven modified video cameras are optimally positioned along lateral division A. Okay, why? Okay, and they have motion detection. That's cool. So lateral division, I think lateral is like the outside. So they are having their outside parameters covered by the cameras. I get it. It's clever. Though if Trumpet uh, Doodle is going to come, you're dying. So... I like the, the term threshold. Yeah, and it's like trying to cover a, a big area. So it seems to change, but it seems also to stay consistent. Like this one room they enter seems to be almost always similar. But it changes like the, the weird um, dead end that like looted the one ding dong in the last one. That was different, like a change, like how stable is it? When is it unstable? So weird, I would be so afraid to even go in. Like, what if the door just disappears? Lapt. But could you detect uh, the doodle uh, elephant trumpet man? Because, I mean, it's probably not a real anomaly. Oh, great, thank you. I really want to see that. I hope it's not gonna jump into my face. Okay, it's just researchers. Hello. I mean, so it works. Motion detected. <laughs> there they are. I think it's the same shot, but mirrored. <laughs> and it's fine. Like, I like that. Uh, so he's a supervisor. What makes him a supervisor? Is his uh, suit more yellow? I don't know. We'll never find out. Oh, they can close it and the rooms are still there. So it's a real place. Like, a real place. So it's not like... Like, it's there, there is some... There is some... Um, some static in it. So it's not like... Completely gone all the time. But does time pass the same inside as on the outside? It's that trumpet man. Trumpet doodle. That place is making me so anxious. I love it. Where did they find that location? It's brilliant. Where's the motion? Oh, there it is. Hello. I don't know what you were. You are not that scary. It's just a clo uh, cloud. It's just some black shit. Yeah, I see it. It's just some black weird stuff. Oh, no, it's, 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 is it a person running across the ceiling? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Like, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's just some weird black tentacle thing. Or it might be a person like standing upside down. Perhaps the person forgot where where gravity uh, is going towards. So then they. Oh, that was it. Yeah, that was okay. Like that wasn't that scary, but uh, uh, it is well shot. Like I, I like I like the way all of this is shot. It's very very good. Where are you now? Pitfall. Oh, are they gonna jump into a pit again? It's so realistic. I like it. It's done in a realistic way. Yeah, of course, they've got lab coats. Oh, of course, they have lab coats. Why would they have lab coats, though? Check one, two, three. One, two, three. 
Like they're not working with chemistry parts and not with very highly um, whatever. This is George. So it's open again. Hello, weird guy up there. You're not ominous. Oh, it changed. It changed. Yeah, I see it changed. Changed. Or do they? did they go through at another place? And he's in the weird room they are using to monitor stuff. So what... How is it working exactly? Is this another place where they just go in? Might be. Might be. Perhaps I've missed a number of a station or something that they have here. Perhaps, yeah. Has the vertical expansion been approved yet? They're not getting to that until after the presentation. When does that go through? Sorry, can you repeat? What day will the tour be over? Uh, from the 7th to the 10th. Okay. I didn't get that, I'm sorry, I can really... It's very hard to to hear it, what they say. Got a cable. Okay. What are you doing that for? What is your purpose? Why do you do this? Like, is it just exploration? Explorational drive? Okay, go on. What do you hope to find here in this weird, hellish, scary place? Oh, oh, there's, I think there is uh, space time bending there. That's very well done. Are you gonna get lost again, mate? So they seem to like put up a uh, rope or something, so... Oh, that's oh, wow. cool. Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah, this is new and that's cool. Is that all? Why is it changing? When is it changing? It's so weird. Visibility falls off pretty quick. Yes, yeah, so go away from there. And we've got a door. Don't recognize the design. Okay. Oh, okay. Why would you go there? It's so scary. Sorry, now you've got fear of heights. Like, they will eternally fall to their eternal doom here. Oh god, he's gonna fall in. And it seems, it seems that he's skipping. Like, he's, that's so weird. Why are you walking so weirdly? It's perhaps because of the CGI they use, but okay, bye. Oh my god. What do you see? Everything okay? Uh, Marvin, get the camera over here. A across? Okay. And, so, yeah. You have to see this. What? You you have to see this. What what? What are you talking? You have to see this. Come here. What are you talking about? You have to see this. I, I hate that trope. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Just uh one moment, all right. You're so so done. You're gonna okay. fall in there. Oh god, it's just yeah, this is just playing on anxiety. Yeah, I'm 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 going. It's just playing into every anxiety you possibly could have. It's so well done, I love it. Like, whoever did this probably knows a lot about psychology. 
Oh, so the ground is electromagnetic as well now. How did that happen? Okay, that was not that deep. I mean, he at least still hears them. You're all right. That was like five meters. In my shoulder. Yep. I'm a bit dizzy, but no, no, I'm fine. Oh, okay. It's not that far. Can you describe your surroundings? Uh, it's it's different. It, like like a room up there, but the architecture is the same. But the where are you? Oh, it's it's like the same but different. I mean, I get it. He's under shock. The wallpaper but... is different. It's a bit greener. Oh, it's green. No, no, you're in the green room, not Hold in the on, yellow room. If... Nope. I'm not reaching the tunnel I fell from. The opening comes out through the wall, but it's too high. Don't you have a rope? Okay, just stand by and see if I try that. Got it. Is the camera in check? Seems to be fine. I'm recording, but who knows what the output will be like. Fuck. Make your way back over to this side. Carefully. How? Do we have another camera? I need to get this. It has to wait. This takes precedence. Why, mate? Did you find your dead friend's body? Just throw down the guideline with the weight attached. I can use it to climb up. Just yeah. tried that. There won't be enough length to reach you. George, go back. How? You used it to go through the whole fucking thing. What? Just stand over there. I mean, I, I get that they need a reason for him to now start going through this new, weird, bizarre world, but... Come on, mate. What was that? Yeah. And now it's a scream again, this psychological thing. Love it. I Love it. I don't know. There was... There was a new monster, mate. Don't go there. Like, why don't you tell people about the monsters in this corridor shit? I think there's somebody down here. Uh, as you're yelling, like a person is yelling. Wait, a, a person? Yeah. I mean, why are you surprised? Have you seen some weird shit here? Are you sure you're not just hearing us? Mate, this is no. a weird, bizarre world. Of course, it makes no sense. Are you an idiot? How did you get your job? Oh god, what is that? Don't go into that. Oh man, come on. Like, it's checking every single one of my anxieties. There might be a creepy face down there. Imagine that. Imagine there's a creepy face down Okay, there was no creepy face down there. And now we've got alien sounds. That's okay. The left hallway. And it's right there. Under the gap in the wall. Oh, he went in. Great. any minute, then we can assess the situation from there. Oh, yeah, go towards the creepy man shouting stuff. Like, but what if Miller's right about the null zones? Even if that's the case, I agree with Mark. It's not worth the risk. The null zones? What's with them? I've seen one. Oh Is it the zone where you shouldn't go? Marvin? Marvin, do you copy? Okay, I saw it. It's Hello? a tank so this is like computer generated. Can you That's hear cool. me? It's very well done. Marv, what are you doing? I'm trying to find them. I know how to get back. It's, it's fine. You don't know how to get back. It shifts all the time. You, like these okay. stupid the idiots. How did, how did they get their job? Haven't you been stress trained? I love the, the way this is done though. Like, it's obviously CGI, but... I can already feel something's gonna come after him. Why is there a manhole cover? Oh, someone's just watching TV. Hello? Why are you shouting? You know there's monsters here. Like, this one is a lot more annoying than the first protagonist. And the first one actually hits. And... I don't know. What's gonna jump us now? Can you hear me? I'm here. Anything. I'm entering one of the houses. Oh no, he's in a new world. That's nice. Okay. 
this is odd. Though, even though this is rendered, the um, turn signs in this room coming out of the carpet. The camera room movement makes it very nice. Mirror, they're not oriented properly. Don't go there, please, mate. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Yeah, now it's normal again, I think. Oh, come on. Why would you do this? Oh, why would you do it? Why would you go there? You're such a dick. I think I'm losing you. Just stand in by. I think I'm losing you. Yes, you are. Why are you going in? You should have just waited for them to get a rope. Oh, great. It's a, it's a psychologically terrifying weird room. This is Marv. Okay. Good. We read you. Someone's been living down here. I don't want to meet that someone. Oh, the, the, oh God. It has the angle. That's the angle again. Oh. Hey! Can you hear me? Oh, mate. Sorry, can you repeat that? Is there the weird thing? I think the weird thing is there in the background. Oh, no, I don't think it is. No, that's not another person. Are you an idiot? It's the elephant. That is not a fucking person! Yeah, it's the elephant man, yeah, and I don't have any sympathy for you. Bye. Oh, it's there again, I hate its stumpiness. Trumpet in this bag. I mean, why are you running back? There's no way to run back to you. Yeah, now you cry, mate. That was your own stupidity, I'm sorry. Well, this is exactly the same. The sounds are like, brilliant. They don't... Oh god, don't roll through. I hate that. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good. They cut it. It's gonna crawl from there. It's gonna crawl up from there. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Okay, I'm here. Send it down. Yeah, they won't make that, mate. Why is it not even? <laughs> Why is it not down yet? That was the most stupid scientist I've ever seen. All of them are stupid. Yeah, it's gonna jump me now. Stand clear. We're sending it down. Oh no! It might come from the hole. It's gonna come from. Okay, it's not gonna come from the hole. Why are you, why are you coughing? Oh god, it's gonna jump us. Oh god, there was it. Yeah, the end was very terrifying. It wasn't that terrifying because I knew he got himself into that himself and he was being an idiot and why didn't they know about the weird monster thing, but yeah, still, still, the, the way it's done, you, you, even if you know what's happening, you can't escape it because it's like a psychologically very deep level, love it. That's how you do it. Like, you just take, take the primal fears. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. So what is this called? Report, okay. That is not a fucking person! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, why, why is there a stick figure thing? So did he survive, though? Okay, what happened? Tell me.
And now, what now? He looks like a famous actor, but he's probably not. This was the first time that this were, there was the movie shot here. You know, the shot from just now was a movie shot. Establishing movie shots. It wasn't found footage stuff, which is weird. I don't know if I like it. But, uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's interview the Ding Dong. Are you the Ding Dong that was an idiot? You might have been. I don't know. Like, why are they having the um, lab coats? Are they... they are not working with chemicals, or... I mean, you can work in other areas with them as well, but it's... I don't know. Rule of cool, I guess. See, this is movie th stuff. This is shot like a movie now. This is so weird. Why? Why would you do that? I like the other style. I don't know if I... Yeah, I, I think I like the other style a bit more than something like this. Though this can be very, very scary as well. But it takes away the realism, unfortunately. So, yeah. I'm the stick trumpet man. Like, yeah, that's the weird glitch thing. Where's he going? Why are we doing this? He's just running through corridors. But not the scary ones we just saw. In the back rooms. Well, why won't I hear his dialogue? Can someone lip read? Can someone tell him what he's saying? Okay. And now? What now? I'm sorry that I'm not saying a lot here, it's just like they're showing me the corridors and stuff again. I mean, I know them by now. So that's the tape, I guess. Why do they have these disc-shaped things? I still wonder about that. Or is it just the tape? Is it the part they control? No, now it's gone. Ah, this is probably how they built their... Um, their observa observation room. Just normal carpenters building a normal room here in a weird bizarre world. I mean, you technically did wouldn't need to tell them about the bizarre world. You could just tell them, yeah, this is a room in our building. Just like do this here. So I guess the trumpet uh, doodle cannot go through here. Yeah, some some transistors there, MOSFETs. Nice. There's some some. Condensators. Yeah, 
capacitors. Nice. Why are you doing that though? What are you doing? I mean, I, I know they do this. Why are they sealing this off? Can they do that? Why won't the trumpet doodle go through this? Like, can't it, can't it do that? Is it not strong enough? What are its powers? What is it? What are its limits? Why won't you talk about it? Oh, that was... What was that one? That one was weird and a bit weak. I, I guess it showed me that there are people monitoring stuff. Like, that was a bit unnecessary, I don't know. So we've got a presentation, let's go. Async Research Institute. A space. Prospective development. Asynchronous space, I guess. The world around us is ever-changing. Throughout this past century, we have seen the advent of countless innovations that have completely reshaped life as we know it. That is true. But with all of this growth comes a number of undesirable byproducts. Byproducts that, if left unchecked, have Pollution. the potential to irreversibly scar our modern world. Yep. So we all As human just expansion re is projected to increase exponentially the in the, the coming room. decades, we must account for these never before faced challenges in ways equally never before considered. That's wrong, by the way. Um, we will be like the, the population is rising, but it will plateau and then it will just drop. That's what's going to happen. Like the birth rates in Europe are terrible, like 0 0.5. Like it's not sustainable anymore. Compl like no one, like. People probably know this, but it's not talked about enough, I, I, in my opinion. Like, birth rates are, like, through the bottom, terrible stuff, and population will not be a problem here. But I know that in the 80s and 90s and 70s, they had these, these fears of the world being overpopulated and, like, there not being enough resources and stuff like that. So I guess this plays into that. Pretty realistic again. Here at Async, we believe we have found the solution. The Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. In short, we will feed everyone to the trumpet doodle. What is the Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System? Using 32 distributed across all points, allowing for cargo and personnel to seamlessly pass through their designated threshold. I assume he was saying whatever, 25 or whatever, 52. I, I, I didn't, I don't remember the number. It's a bit late. Um, Tesla. So there's a lot. Like the, the most powerful magnets I think we currently have is 50, 40 Tesla. So, wow. So it's not small, low scale magnetic. <laughs> So what are you, what are you going to do? Like plant, plant orchids in there and hope that you get more food? While our current threshold is limited in scale, future models will be able to span entire rooms, allowing for the transfer of larger vessels and equipment. Okay. Oh, this is weird. That's weirdly shot. They look weird. So they, yeah, they, they try to use this parallel world dimension for storage, I guess. Yeah. That's so fucking stupid. I mean, not like I love it, like the writing is brilliant, but that's like typical. People doing weird, like, like you have an interdimensional portal that houses weird doodlemen and um, like changes a bit every time you go in and lures you in and distorts space time. And, and is very scary and you use it or want to use it for storage. Thank you. That's so, so human. It's so funny. It's actually really funny. Because A space is infinite, I guess. Thank you. 
I wonder where they're going. Yeah, I understand what you want to do. But it seems to stay the same here. Like, when does it change? I don't get that. Like, they never mentioned that it changes and that weird monsters live in there. Like, if you have to send scientists that want to make sure that there's nothing moving and stuff, and you see the stuff moving, why would you then proceed with this? Like, this typical movie company dump fuckery. Corporate offices, yeah. Perhaps they want to, uh, um, they want to employ the doodle uh, trumpet creature glitch thing. Perhaps it could, uh, I don't know, give them nutrition through its accelerated growth stuff. <laughs> they, they just put, it's so satirical, I love it. They just put a little, like, a little fence around the holes to death. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. Oh, this is, this is so funny. I don't know if it's supposed to be funny or satirical, but it is. It's so funny, it's so stupid. Oh, man. Nice camera shot. It looks lovely. Where's the person? Where's the glitch? Concept 5. <laughs> Concept 7. Yeah, just put stuff in. Just put stuff in. Great. Uh oh. They, like, they could as well use it as a prison and like push prisoners in and let, I hope that the person will get them. I'm pretty impressed that they have this much stuff, or is it stock footage? Like, the, the, the set design is so brilliant. And there's the head honcho man. Hello, mate. Yeah, he's, he's watching over, over, over everything. Like how hard is it is uh, how hard is it to recreate that stupid door? Does anyone know? Okay, so they basically built this room into where they enter. Hello, weird man. What do you want from us? Do you want to uh, build a storage as well? Why? Like, yes, I get it, but why Why do you think it stays the same now? Like, you already built the room and so you probably experienced some of the reality warping shit that's going on in there. Like, how, why do you think it's stable? Or do you, do you uh, um, take care of that by, um, like, putting things on the ground so then it stays stable or what? Why does the doodle thing not... Why does the weird uh, glitch thing not uh, intrude there? Why does it not break in? Why is it content with letting people live there? Like, it seemed pretty... Um, 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 pretty... What would you say? Animalistic and uh, uh, enraged when it saw humans before each time it encountered them. Like, why would it not break in here when there are so many humans here? Is it afraid? Is it trolling? What is it doing? So they are now working inside, I guess. There's a security breach. Oh, is it the doodle person? Is the doodle person coming to get them? 
I can help with this. Can't, like, that would make me very afraid knowing what's in there. Like, why? Why, mates? You're so dumb. Oh, ah, it's that guy running in. Okay, so that's where we... So that's where we are. Okay, so he then get went in and they were like, oh god, don't be annoying. So that was anticlimactic. I thought he was getting gobbled up by the glitch. But now we go to found footage 2. I hope that's more horrifying. Again. Like, I, I felt that <laughs> there was two or three things that, like, alluded to a story a bit. And there was this absolutely horrifying video, one of the most horrifying things I've ever seen in my life. And then there's this lore, 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 lore. And it feels more like a story. I don't know why. I feel it takes away from the idea of this. Okay, there was this weird gateway. And it's distorted space time around this place. And people disappear. And one of the people like fell in and his camera was running. And then this happened. Like, I don't know if this makes it too... Like the, 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 the people like planning these offices and stuff inside. It's so dumb. Like it's so like, yes, I know it fits. I know people are like that, but it makes it un <sighs> because it's so realistic. It makes it unrealistic. It's so hard to explain why, but, but that takes away from this interesting idea a bit. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, but, but I'm probably on my own there. So I hope this fun footage number two is horrifying again and like making me stand uh, like 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 jump scare me and stuff like that so let's go okay so you may be wondering what i'm doing um, yes recording a square of tape in my garage yes um i swear i've not gone crazy um there is a very good reason for this and if you just give me a moment here Yes, this is what I want. Exactly this. This is brilliant. This is what I was talking about. Okay, um, I don't think it's worth trying to explain what's going to happen here. Um, you just have to see it to believe it. So Yeah, it's going to glitch gonna through the ground. Here. Just a bunch of wood. And um, I just watch this and prepare yourself because it's really freaky. Watch the square. Look at that. Gone. They're gone. Yes. Move. All right, I'm going to show it again, just because wood chips is a little bit of a weird example. Um, but here's a baseball, all right? And just watch. Gone! God, it just it went into the floor. All right. I also really, really like that the way the camera glitches out. Uh, oh, sorry, German coming through. The, the camera glitches out while this is happening is very logical, because by this, like the EM... Uh, waves and stuff like that and distortions will create that in the camera feed and it's so brilliantly used here i love it i'm gonna do a couple tests now um, yeah so you're gonna be a scientist okay. instead of someone yeah, who moved gonna, away uh, great let's it hope it's not gonna get bigger if it grows you're effed oh that's so cool oh i like that it's so well done Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. She's gonna die now, gobbled up by doodle creature thing. So, yeah, okay. Oh, God. I would have made a series probably only about this. I know it's harder to produce and more expensive, but the fact that people just with found cameras like just with cameras like they just fall in somehow like this like testing out weird places they fall in and then this happens that it's always different so that would have been more horrifying because there's not this weird backstory going on of some asshole company like i i hate backstories of asshole companies yeah yeah i know that they're evil whatever doing something they shouldn't do i mean that for a premise is great like have them make the gate and stuff but then like just have it run wild and uh, getting out of hand and no protocols and weird stuff like that. I don't, I'm, but I'm not a fan of this rule horror. But rule number one, never go out in the dark at night when you are living in this village. Rule number two, never poop too much. Rule number three, if you pick your nose, never ever fart. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, okay, fine. You Weird shit happens if you don't do it. I never got into that. But that's personal preference. So, um, 
yeah so but but i really like this fun footage stuff so and i will not pause anymore i just wanted to get that out because that's like very hard in my mind right now and i knew it would get bigger i knew it yeah you fell through very natural reaction as well nice actress she does a good job and now we get horrifying shots again Like, perhaps do a monster that's a bit different. I don't know. Like, slower, like, creepy, like, flowing monster. Like, mm, something like that. I need that. Oh, good. Oh, God. I hope. I hate corridors so much. Yeah, the primal, primal sensors in my brain are fire. God, firing again. I hate them. Every time they turn around a corner, I hate it so much. This, this is the kitchen. So they probably started decorating the inside. Hello? Which is also sad because the decorations we know now are from the company. It's not scary anymore. Like it would have been so weird if that was just this weird part of a the kitchen there. Like that would be so weird. But we know company probably came, built that there, then left because the monster hunted them out or whatever. You know, it, that takes away from the mystery. I don't like that. But I like the kitchen there. It's creepy. Like for her, this must be very terrifying. And now she's going into the dark corridor instead of the light one. Great. Great. Oh, man. Why? Oh, I hate that. Something's gonna jump us. Something's gonna jump us. What the hell? Oh, God. No. No. Oh, thank God. What is it? Thank God. I thought something would jump us. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So they stored some of their artificial assets there. Great. See, this would be much more scary when I did... Uh, 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 had I not known that the company did all of this. At least that's how it appears to me right now. Perhaps some space-time contortions happened and that made it weirdly shaped, but I understand pretty much all of what is going on now. I just don't know why the creature's there. You know? So mystery is solved. But... Uh, Still, the the angles they're so weird. Help! I need help. Yeah, they Hello? yeah they now need to start adding stuff that we have not seen before because otherwise we know everything. It's just a couch. Yeah, I know. It's a stupid company. They were littering here. What is this place even for? For storage. We know. You know, I know know this. I know. I'm like, yeah, you don't know. I do know. I feel superior now. Not really. Yeah, that, that I wouldn't go there. No, but you, you are going there. Great. Hello? Oh, God, what is that? See, that's what I want. New weird stuff. Why is there a puddle of dark goo of hell? Okay. That's, um... Oh, well, on the floor. Yeah, that's scary. See, that's what I want. More weird stuff. Unexplored Hello? areas. Is there anybody in there? Yeah, you probably have to go down the hole now. And it glitched, it might have changed like the placement. Oh no! No! Oh god! <laughs> Why would you. Oh god, I'm fine. Why would you do it? I love that they don't follow through. It makes me so anxious. Every time I think something's coming, nothing's coming. But sometimes there will be something coming. I know it from the past okay. videos. So I'm always afraid. There's like, gonna be a staircase, right? Elevator or something? Nope. How, how do people get in here? I mean, you clearly are not in your house anymore, so... As long as you don't turn off the light. Oh, that's nicely designed. I like that room. Oh, there's a hatch in the wall. Don't go in. Okay. That's your reaction? Hmm. Okay. Weird, weird room. Oh, there's an inclination. Go up there. Left. But don't get jumped. Right. Perhaps you will find the weird company that's working here still. But, I mean, this is a better camera, so this is probably 2000, I guess. We didn't see uh, the uh, date and stuff like that, which makes me think this is like 2000 here. 
So they probably left. Like, the company's probably gone. We're just... Yeah. So no one will help her, probably. I hope the gate's Hello? still open at the company. Is there anybody here? Ooh. That is a nice room. It's like a swimming pool. Oh, and that's the first derelict stuff we see. The first broken stuff. Why is it starting to break there? What is happening to this dimension? Oh, that's so eerie. I like that. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. This is brilliant. Why is it changing? This makes no sense. Yeah, that's true. But you could now start to cry. Like, realistically, you would now cry. Oh man. Uh. Oh no, no, don't turn your back to the weird door of darkness. Yes, I know you keep saying that. You, and you keep not crying. Why? Why are you not crying? I would probably be like completely Hello? starting to get. Oh, what's that? What that? Yeah, what's that? I'm so glad there's no. Like no creature. I'm getting more relaxed now. They probably will use that against me in a moment. Oh, something was there and got burned. How did it burn? How did it get burned? Oh my god. Is that a piano? Is that a car? Oh, I think it's a car. That's interesting. Or is that your car? Did it fall through the floor? What? I mean, that's unfortunate. Also, very nicely keyed in. I think that's, I, or it might be a real car. I don't even know if it's Keaton, but oh, nice. So you now will think the victim of that car crash is still here, but it's going to be the doodle creature. This looks more normal. Oh, that's IKEA, I think. Hello. Yeah, and on the ground there are the smears. Oh, I like this. I really like this. But I have to admit, this would have been a lot more powerful if I hadn't seen the. The videos between this and the first fun footage one. I have to be honest. That makes it less scary, but oh god, this would have been so horrifying, like... Hello? Oh no, 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 oh no, 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 there's, there's still... There's someone in here. No. Oh god, why? Hello? Do you need... Do you need help? No, I don't think whoever's there needs help. I hear the rumbling of... Oh no, now she's turning on... It's so brilliantly done. Like, these found footage ones are like... Hello? Oh, there's a bed. Nice. Hope you, there will not be someone having fun with you on that bed. That would be very, very horrifying. But they wouldn't do that, I guess. Oh, there's a shrine or okay, something. What the hell? Uh, is there's the weird fungus stuff. Why, though? Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. You don't know if it's a plant or if it's a structure. Yeah, yeah, we know, we get it, it's alien. So why is there a picture of some asshole? I don't know who she is. I mean, she looks quite nice. Whoa, what the fuck? What? Oh, it's Brambleman. Hello, Brambleman. <laughs> oh, God, I hate that. I hate that, I hate that sound. Like, I hate it when it follows you. Look back now. Why would you stop? It's clearly hunting you. Oh no. Oh no. It's the angle. It's the angle. It's the angle. It was the angle. I see. See, it would get me. I knew it would get me. The angle always gets me. Uh, and the the sound is uh, this primal thing again, and now it's just going back the way she came. Why? Why not run further? You know, there's nothing left there. Why is it hunting her? Why didn't it hunt the scientists? Yeah, throw a Jared. Throw a Jared. No, no, throw a Jared. Throw a Jared. Throw a Jared. No, no, no. Throw the couch at it. Try it somehow. Oh my God! What are you doing? Yeah, jump down the hole. Jump down the hole. That's good. Nice setup. Jump down. Just fuck it, jump down. Fuck it, jump down. 
Oh, it, like, it's gonna eat you or worse. Like, and it clearly can't traverse uh, the z-axis. So, I think it did last time though, so. Yeah, now it's gonna, it's, now it's filthy. From where is it coming? Oh no, from where is it coming? Oh, this is lovely, I hate it. Oh god, this is so lovely, I hate it so much. It's gonna come. Also, you know what's really scary? That there is, that there is often two ways. Like, there's always another way out. Stop elephanting, you asshole! Why is she so small now? Did she crawl, crouch? I think she crouched. Why is she so small? Oh. I mean, just run forwards? Oh, God. Oh, man. You are so fucked. Oh, man. This is brilliant. I hate this. You're dead. Oh, man. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Oh, man. Okay, that's so weird. Why is that happening? Okay, that was not that bad. I'm glad it was like... Okay, fine. She, she dropped into goo. I mean, that's okay. That's not that scary. I'm glad it's like, you know, would have would have been worse, like if he went, if she went back in there, actually. But it was just in my mind, so I appreciate that a lot more as well. Okay. <sighs> oh, God. Like, that was very well done. Very, very well done. I'm so sad that I had the company bits in between. Like, yeah, fine. It was fun lore, but it made this one like the be like the end of this one was horrifying as fuck. Like I like my heart's still pounding, but the uh, the beginning was like I was too too familiar with everything. Like I knew where the couch came from and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what this is. Ooh, I don't know what the weird lightning stuff was. Was it fighting the, the doodle person? Oh, it's the movie quality thing again, which, uh, I mean, fine. Are you finally shutting it down? Can someone look up what that is for? What longitude and latitude that is? Like, it obviously shows us where it is, the site, so... Please someone tell me in the comments if you know where it is. And we're back with a company of idiots. Great. And now it's not teams of two and three again. Uh, not teams of three anymore, like why? Company stuff is so weird. Why have it? Like, why not do the front footage? Because that's probably too expensive, I guess. Perhaps you will find one of the lost uh, dudes again. Oh, where did you come from? Okay, sounds good. Okay, so now we are a robot, I guess. Yeah, of course you're gonna shoot it like that. I mean, now I know that the weird thing is always gonna come from the distance, I guess. So I'm not that afraid of it jumping me from the left or right. Why are you doing that? Why are you deconstructing it now? Are you expanding your area?
Why are you doing all that stupid st stick? Like, can someone explain to me, please, in the comments, if it isn't explained in the end, why the thing doesn't come when there are people that are working normally? Like, they seem to ignore the weird thing that's happening. Like, do they have deterrence? Like, does making measure stuff here make it stop gobbling up people? It's so confusing. It's just confusing, like... It's not, not like, horrifyingly confusing, because... Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm sorry. It's, it's like... It's a bit late. Carry on forward but, yeah. and head into that gap over on the left. Why? Please at least jump scare me. Jump scare me, please. Just make the thing come. This reminds me of SCP... Uh, I don't know what it, what the number was, but uh, the old man. There was this story about that one as well, where the dimensions he had were corridors like this. By the way, um, so they are driving through the corridors for some reason now because they lost too much personnel. If they did, like, to to what did they lose it? Why don't they like piss off there? Why don't they try to fight it? Like, why don't they have guns? Or, or more um, electromagnetic emitters or stuff like that to, to like fight it? Why do they just let it roam and ignore it? And oh, we're back at the weird room. Okay, so apparently it's not changing that much. Perhaps it was just the one time, and that was yeah, that was an exception. Perhaps we will find out what was in the room that he saw. Why don't... Ah, oh, yeah, I'm stupid. I just, I was just like, why don't you use drone for that? And of course, they don't have that yet. They, they don't have drones yet. That's good. That would be a cool... Um, we gotta start updating our found footage movie, our like a modern one, where they use a drone to fly through this. And yeah, I don't know. That would be a cool idea, I think. Oh, so we're back. back at that stupid place. Oh, yeah. Can we now finally see what was yeah, on the other side? So I'm gonna fall down again for, for weird reasons. That is absolutely not the game we're going with. Okay. Why haven't you done this before? Is your guy not back yet? Or is he back? And I have to still know. Yeah, that is the one he dropped down into. So, he apparently came out again and reported about the monster and you all saw it and now you are just like, okay, let's just measure this, there might be a creepy crawler crawling out of this, but we don't care. What? Yeah, the company stuff is weak, I don't know, but, but like, that, that's not detracting from anything. Okay, so they closed them off apparently, why? Because they need their storage room. Company stuff is weird, like, 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 and I, with that I'm a uh, uh, weak, and uh, with that I mean just company, like, the, like when he fell in, that was great again, like, that was, like, brilliant, but where they are doing stuff and working in here, that's, like, just, yeah, okay, you work here, I don't care that you work here, why are you doing it? Like, they don't even do experiments, they just, like, build stuff, they don't do experiments. And they like conduct a layout analysis. Fine. Like why? Why not do experiments like why don't you measure it's EM or whatever? Like it's just course. yeah. Pretty similar. Oh. They were just renting that one. Okay, so they, they finally have a gun. Though. Thanks. Like, Thank you. So they've got a shotgun against the glitch man. I want to be on the other 
Red team wins. I think the glitch yeah. man probably That's wins probably though. Alright, get your lights on. So I think they're now across. Oh, yeah. So yeah. is this the thing you were supposed to see? Is this the the, the reason? Alright, so we're gonna wanna stay mostly yeah. down the middle, but So this is the yeah, reason one the one guy fell in a room that looks like every other room, mm -hmm. like I feel. Yeah, I'm playing this mouse. I don't know. Shouldn't they be like connected by a rope or something? Wouldn't that be a lot more logical? Because they are supposed okay, to yeah, be in three. Okay, different. now he's gonna get lost. Like Bye. Concrete. Or what was it called? Um, the stuff they, uh, oh, he wasn't getting the lost. I would. Check. Yeah, I could have sworn yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Apostle. Whatever. Like, like I would have connected myself like people, um, I don't know what it's called, people that go climbing, they connect themselves, like why don't they connect themselves, they know they can get lost alone, but why? Shouldn't that be standard procedure? It looks like there's another space between the floor tiles. Okay, will you fall into yeah. that? Also, it's interesting that they yeah, trust the ground all the time when they know yeah. that... Or perhaps they don't know that some of the ground is, uh, like, no, no, intangible. No. Yeah, oh god, okay, this uh, is getting bad. Uh, hole in the back. Yeah, yeah, it's a little hole in the back. Yeah. Is there gonna be a creepy crawler so coming out of the hole? Can't tell what that is. Well, it just looks like a wall. Oh god. Huh. Watch the gun, sorry. Is this just the natural state, or... Ew, is what is that? Why is it decrepit? Sure Why are there parts that are, like, falling right, apart? Turn on the yeah. oh, I imagine the creepy crawler looking in from I there. Tiles, uh, I think different yeah. creepy monsters yeah. might have been yeah. also yeah. scary, like, have a creepy crawler here or something, but it all, yeah. might also be too much. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, his voice is so dark, I thought it was the trumpet thing. Uh, guys, I found, I found something. Yeah? You got a look at this. Why is it right over there? Yeah. Again. Again. Sort of... Again. No, you have no to way. see this. this. Indeed. You can't determine that just huh. by looking at it. No, I'm just assuming right now. Either way, you're right, it does look like some kind of map. Yeah, yeah. a map. You know, it almost, it almost looks like... I think this is over around. Here, 14C. Oh, yeah. Who made it? Who it's, made uh, it? Team A, come in. This is Mark. That's the area we came through. That's 14C, and there's 14B. Team A, this is Mark. Do you copy? No, nope, you're lost. B and A. Will it gobble up people now? I hope so. Standard, I mean, do you copy? You are three now. Two can die. This is Mark. So. Do you copy? Nope. Yeah, no, the signal's dead. We've gone too far. We gotta go back. What? Right, you sure? We're not that far. Now you're lost, and two well, we're gonna die. If you go back and it's just a non you just come back around, you know, and see what you're ah! Oh, what was that? Oh, that was scary. I didn't react, but that was weird. Go, go, let me move. Okay, okay. Who is that? Who is that? But I will. A madman. Play acting, so please, please. <laughs> just answer my questions and I'll be gone. How many people are out here right now? Down the hall, how many people are out here? I, I don't, I don't know. Peter? Oh shit. Marv? Marvin? Y yes, yes, it's me. Is it, is it really you? Oh, we got me. lost, I guess. Me. How? It's been months, we thought you... Oh, I'm stupid. So apparently the Ding Dong didn't climb up and he just put his camera into the... Okay, no. whatever. I know, that, that's, that's what they did. They, they took my life from me, Marv. Everyone thinks I'm fucking dead. My own... My wife and children think I'm dead! Can you please put down the gun? Barbara, just... Just tell me. Did they hold a funeral? Yes. This is Team A. Yes, A-Team, this is Mark, I read you. Mark, tell me. What are you doing? We need immediate arch support at room 14C. Stop. My team and I are being held at gunpoint by a hostile. I repeat, Stop. please send immediate arch support to room 14C. Why would you say hostile? Yeah, he 
way that that one is coming in, so what would you say that? So let me get this straight, the weird doodle thing didn't get him. Like, so why are they not being attacked by, like, it attacked him a bit, like it ran after him, but it only like ended the other two. And we, I'm not even sure if he ended the girl we saw in Found Footage 2, so what's, what's it even doing? Like, why should they care for it? In the way that like, yeah, it gets you and then, like the one guy was horrifying, but now it doesn't really do anything anymore. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty gruesome. I would have so this is the last one so so this is the last video at least on the channel if there's more please let me know and i have to be a bit frank the found footage stuff is far superior to their little company stuff like the only company stuff that's really interesting is when they get lost and it starts to be weird again but all the other stuff is like yeah they're building stuff and they are exploring stuff and sometimes they're not and then they're like building walls and sometimes they're not and the monsters aren't coming, the monsters aren't getting them, they're just there and they're not even measuring stuff and like 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 electromagnetics, even though that's how they get in through electromagnetic or whatever. So I don't know, like like the but but the like all the found footage stuff and all the stuff where people wander around it uh, in the world here and are confused, that's brilliant, like best horror I've one of the best horror things I've ever seen, like by far. Like that's brilliant stuff, like 100 of 10. Brilliant, but the company stuff is getting on my nerves a bit. Like I don't care for the, like, like, like it's, it, it's like as if it wants me to care for these people. And this, oh God, that sounds so heartless. That sounds so, I'm so sorry. I did not mean it like that. It's just like, they have no personality. They just go in and gobble up or run away and like, like yeah, okay, Mark. Oh God, my family's gone that I never mentioned. I didn't care. Like, why would I care, mate? There's that. You just, uh, yeah, whatever. But he seems to be distorted. Perhaps it really is him, uh, like perhaps he is the stick figure from the future. <laughs> there he runs, what an asshole! <laughs> there he runs, run little man! You're such a dick. Okay, now he goes in. Like... Like, I don't get why they did not have more guns than one. Like, all of this is really... Okay, yeah, now he runs out. How did he escape from the thing? Is he gonna shoot the boss now? Is he gonna get shot? He's probably pretty happy to be in the real world again. I mean, I get him now. I mean, I'm like, I'm feeling for him, but I kind of want him to get shot now. Because he's probably carrying a disease virus stuff. <laughs> Look at him go! Look at him run! I'm a bit sad that it's so ridiculous. Like, it, the ending is a bit ridiculous. There he comes, there he comes, and, 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 there he comes, and, and, and. Run, little man! Run, 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 run! <laughs> it's so stupid. Run! We, I, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, run after him! Shloop, 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 shloop,
Like, is this supposed to be scary? I mean, he got out. Is that bad now? Is he infected with stuff? Like, why should I care? Like, should I feel for him? I mean, he had apparently had a wife. She probably forgot him. Um, okay, now, fine. It appears that the situation has reached a point of some stability. Uh, we'll, we're still looking into a few things, uh, but I feel that we can now properly address what occurred without running into speculation. What happened last night should not have happened. Yes, not that's here, true. Not with us. What occurred was a gross misunderstanding that was the result of some severe information mismanagement. Yes, Even now, more, I believe most that was more than information mismanagement. Like that was mismanagement of everything you could think of. Everything. So, like, by the way, how did they even like, like, so they built this door and then they found this world and then like, were they a storage company before that or did they, were they like, hey, we can make money with this? Most of you still have an incomplete idea of what took place last night. So tell me. And so uh, before I fill you in, I need to address the fact that there has been information deliberately withheld from many of you on the project. Okay, and what uh, is that? These choices were not made lightly and were done for only the best of reasons. However, I want to make it abundantly clear that following the events of last night, it has been proven to us that that method of conducting ourselves was not viable. You serious, mate? You serious? They were all going into a weird, bizarre world, not knowing what there was. There was stuff appearing like holes in the ground. Perhaps it wasn't appearing, and it was like just that one time. What? So, I'm coming to you now to correct this mistake and begin delivering the authentic order of events as we understand them. Yeah, tell me. On the morning of March 1st, a team of four researchers was sent into the complex to conduct their routine layout analysis. George Levy, Marvin Lee, Ronald McCarthy, and Peter Tench. Why are they doing them? Like, they're just messing rooms. Are you still wanting to use it as storage? At around 12.25 p.m., the group realized that they had lost track of Tench while traversing a previously accessed branch of hallways. As you'll recall, this prompted an immediate withdrawal of response back to standard, followed by several days of significant search efforts. But if they had that on camera, shouldn't they have seen him disappear? However, uh, those ultimately yielded nothing. And as far as any of us were concerned, Tench had simply vanished, leaving no physical trace. You should have been connected by ropes, you idiots. Now, for obvious reasons, that wasn't something that we could disclose to the public. So, roughly two weeks following his disappearance, our security team was forced to put together a more acceptable cause of death that would keep attention away from this institute and provide closure to the family. Yeah. Uh, so, that is all close to common knowledge, I presume. Okay, so that was the guy. So, the, the, the first one that disappeared was uh, uh, the guy that now reappeared and shot the guy and the one that fell into the hole came back out. Okay, so I see. Not so the monster still is dangerous. Incident. However, you're certainly aware of the effects it has had on our internal procedures over the past few months. Regardless, that was where Tensha's involvement in this came to an end. Or at least that's what we assumed. So how did he survive he without food? At approximately 5.30 p.m., a motion alert was sent out from the complex, which was closed off at the time. One of our senior engineers was sent down to assess the situation and discovered a male dressed in hazard gear who we were able to identify as Peter Tench. Yes, we know. Immediately following this discovery, Tench was moved to a secure room on this floor where, over the following days, a select group of doctors were able to administer a panel of tests in order to determine what had happened to Peter in the two months he had been gone. Okay. Uh, those tests yielded very little useful information. Okay, okay, so he then broke out from the prison, I assume. Okay. By all measures, Peter appeared to be in excellent health. However, we were still provided one very useful tool in understanding it. Uh, how the situation unfolded from his perspective. 
Some of you may recall that on the day of his disappearance, Tench was his team's designated camera operator. Well, when we recovered him, he still had that camera in his possession, and in fact had documented the entire ordeal. Uh, the footage will be presented in its entirety later today, however, for the purpose of this discussion, I will only be highlighting key events. Yeah, he ran through corridors and time jumped. This is the hallway where Peter was last seen. They're not in view, but you can hear the others walking behind him. Now, as he approaches the bridge on the right here, pay close attention to the audio. Guys, can you hear this? Ah, uh, he was sent into the future there, I guess. Yeah, he was probably sent into the future right there. That's why he didn't see them anymore. Like, there they are. See? Now he traveled in time. So it's probably not... It is not changing. So the layout is not changing. I assume that wrongly, incorrectly. So it is time travel, I think. So it's a discussion for afterwards. But what you just saw is what we believe to be the moment that... Yeah, 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 I see, I see. Okay, that's nice, that's clever. Two months forward in time. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, fine. Following that abrupt flash you just saw, Tench proceeds back out to Why was the flash happening? But it's without any indication of the presence. The next 30 or so minutes of the tape uh, follow a fairly panicked Tench as he attempts to navigate his way back to the threshold. He does obviously find his way back. However, the threshold appears not as he knows it, but as it appeared on the date of May 8th. And this ties us back to the moment when we recovered him. So, uh, to summarize from his yeah. point of view, he had only been inside the complex for several hours. Uh, so to him... But the found footage was not like... Okay, it cut some parts, some parts were... Okay, so they were cut and didn't glitch out, I guess. All of the new developments around threshold were completely foreign. Uh, luckily, though, as I already mentioned, there were people available to manage the situation as it unfolded. And over the course of the following days, we were able, we, able to uh, properly sit What were the changes? What are you even doing this to? ...a collective understanding of what has happened. However, there was still the very significant fact that Mr. Tench was considered legally deceased as a result of the cover story. And reversing that would be no easy feat. Uh, yeah, it would be. was willing to cooperate while we looked for a way to reintegrate him without raising suspicion. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, that process ended up taking quite a bit longer than we had anticipated. And all the while, Peter was sucked out here, waiting arguably by. That made him turn mad? Not the weird creature that hunted him down? Uh, he was hunted down, what, by the creature was hard to combat the effects of cruel sensory deprivation on the human brain. And as a result, uh, Peter's mental state took a toll. Not to a degree that was outright concerning at first, but around the end of week two, we noticed that he was starting to exhibit a number of behaviors common in patients diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Yes, of course. He was hunted down by the doodle man. Though we don't have reason to believe that Mr. Tench was a fool. And you saw the footage, you dick. What? With that condition. Like they saw the footage, Whatever they knew the takes. things in there. Like they saw the thing being in there, if I recall correctly. I might confuse footages, but I think the thing was on that footage. Uh, I think because he, he ran away from it. I'm pretty sure he ran away from it. Well, he didn't express it outright. From what we could gather, he appeared to have deluded himself into believing that he was still inside some sort of illusion created uh -huh. by the complex and that we were secretly looking to do him harm. I mean, that makes sense. Like, it's the Matrix problem. Like, are you really awake now? Are you really awake now? That's probably what happened here. I, okay, I like that as well. Like, it's fine. It's, it's a nice story. On the night of the 22nd, when, while Tench was finally about to be transferred to a temporary above ground residence, he broke away from us and, using stolen credentials, forced his way back into the complex where he would go undiscovered until just last night when he ambushed and violently attacked Team B in room 14C, leaving Dr. Bloom in critical condition. Okay. We can presume that during the Chiruso days Tent spent in the complex, 
he let go of the idea that he could somehow escape through an alternate threshold, but still held on to the belief that all of us here were working to trap him in some way. Yeah, okay, 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 exactly okay. The opposite. Okay, I like that. I like that. I really like that. Like, that, that makes it a very interesting story. Like, that concept they now introduce, that is cool, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see. Why would they do all that? Why are they there? Like, for, for storage, is that the backstory? It's so stupid, sorry. S the storage backstory, while logical and the setup is cool, but then the moment the weird creatures start showing up and no one reacts to them and no one cares about them really, like they, yeah, okay, they look at them in photos and f like, and, and, and motion detectors and no one cares. Like the way he's talking is, yeah, we had an unfortunate event. Someone was transported forward in time. And now he was getting mad and thought he was still in the rooms. Okay, what about the monster? Immediately after firing a single shot from the Remington 8 But the story is good there. I, 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 the that that makes me appreciate the story a lot more. He would turn the weapon on several more of you while progressing into standard and through the lower offices. Given the abrupt and chaotic nature of the unfolding situation, it took our security team several moments longer than you ideally should have to figure out what was happening. But thankfully, while Tench was passing through one of the empty labs next to storage, Dr. Maxwell was able to act quickly and managed to disarm him, accidentally discharging the weapon into the ceiling in the process. Okay. However, Tench still managed to avoid apprehension. <laughs> look at him go, look at him go. And evading our security staff by taking the freight elevator to the surface. Now, this situation could have played out very badly given the potential number of witnesses around the building at the time but luckily for everyone involved as yes. far as we can tell Tench was unnoticed as he exited the property okay so let him run away around five minutes later our security team made it to the ground floor and began a thorough sweep in the direction of the hillside where cameras had last observed Tench okay now there's no easy way to say this other than to just say it. What? I am terribly sorry to inform you all, but Mr. Tench was found deceased halfway down the hillside. <laughs> the result of an extreme blow to the head. Why? Did he fall down? It appears that while he was running through some brush, he failed to anticipate a sudden dip in the ground and tragically fell forward into a large rock. Is that a cover-up story they have? Probably. That would be too dumb. Given the circumstances, it was not something any of us could have anticipated or prevented. Come on, mate. What's, the what about the weird creature? The entire situation undoubtedly remains. But Dr. Tench, regardless of how troubled he was in his final days, was a brilliant man who gave his all to this project. He would certainly not want us hindering it in his name. He wasn't intelligent enough to like take a rope and connect it to his colleagues when he knew that they, they were exploring a weird dimension thing. I mean... What we're doing here how could they have so known? Yeah, but... Person. It is the work of a unified effort. Two. And we need to ensure that that is never lost sight of. To create cargo space and weird offices in a satirical way, okay. But we hold on to the pre established notion that Peter is and has been deceased. That is done, and there is nothing more to be extracted. Okay. Yeah, that was. that was interesting. Yeah. The everything about this was very, very, very cool. Yeah, let's see. He probably calls now because he's not really dead because they covered it up. Like, why would we believe the evil man who stares from the window down at the door, so...
Okay, so that was it. That was it. I will like them, uh, of course, but uh, I will uh, I will like them after I'm done recording. So, if you're still here, thanks for watching. Of course, uh, consider liking, subscribing, all the good stuff. And tell me if I should do more reactions to horror videos or explanations or whatever. Like, almost everything of this was brilliant and perfect. The only thing I didn't like was the company part. Uh, and not the company storyline that was good as well like i liked the way it ended like i for a moment there you saw me in the reaction i thought it was oh it's just like i don't care but uh, yeah they they tied it like they tied some of the bits together that they had randomly put in um though I, it all makes sense in the context i still think it's very weak for the company to be like like this this satiric like i think it was just this one video where they showed this satirical thing of them building this storage space in the weird parallel dimension where a monster is and they knew that it was there they've seen it so i think that really dragged it down a bit like like not not the not the not the scares not the feeling not the atmosphere not the idea but the 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 the, the, the company's motives were stupid but other than that like as i said i, I like the storylines so I think I got everything in the end. So uh, basically his story was told probably very closely to what happened. The only thing that didn't happen was perhaps him falling to his death. Perhaps he survived. Um, but I really have to say, so what really stood out were the found footage parts. Like the woman and the man falling in. Brilliant stuff. And the time where he was lost. Where Tench was lost. And the monster came as well. Like It was always the same monster, I think. Which they could have changed up a bit, um, but but for consistency's sake, that was great. The the as I said, the only thing that irked me was that the monster was like completely ignored by the company. Like they saw it, saw it three times or two times. Like why ignore it? Um, that there was like like I didn't know why they how they could reconcile. Yeah, there is the weird dimension with the killer monster, weird glitch thing that distorts space time or whatever it does. And that's running around and apparently like could they hold it back with the sensors? They might have, but it still was on camera. So like what was the reasoning for excluding that from like how was it supposed to work their storage thing and why are still they still pursuing it? I don't get it. I really don't get that part. Perhaps I missed something. Please tell me in the comments if I did. Other than that, like like I said, as a horror thing, the fun footage stuff, that was pure brilliant horror. Like, I've never seen something addressing all the primal fears with, like, sensory patterns, like, in a video this well. It was incredibly well done. I laughed every second of it. I, I think this was the most afraid I've been in, like, or scared, not afraid, like, or perhaps afraid you could say that because I think it was primal fear. But this feeling I had in this reaction, I never had this in a reaction before, so kudos to the creators of this video. Um, this was a pleasure to watch, like not, but you know what I mean, so brilliant stuff, and as I said, go to their channel, like this, it's brilliant writing, and um, yeah, tell me more uh, if you want more uh, similar, like, do you have other, like, weird creepy past that is, like, created into something like this? Like, for example, I know Slenderman was uh, put into a, a series of videos, I will react to that because I've seen that. But, you know, something like this, I'm always up for. So if you like this, again, um, uh, I'm glad, but uh, yeah. So this was the, the back rooms. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you were scared as well if you haven't seen it before. And uh, I hope you have a great day as well. So see you soon. And uh, as always, take care of yourself. So see you around. Bye.